Hey, I don't know about this storm coming. It might be a doozy woozy around here. Oh, hell yeah. Yep, it might be. Yeah, let's see here. What What's going to happen today? Uh, let's see. Hmm. The candy man to get pissed off. Uh -huh. Candy man, he flip his lights on. Uh -huh. Candy man, he come up to your door. Uh -huh. Candy man, he say you're under arrest. Mm, I don't know about that. Well, the county man is always right because he wears blue and black every night. Mm, I don't know about that. Yeah, they sure do. They they know everything. They know when you're going to get arrested. They know everything. In the, I forgot. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, everywhere Oklahoma. Yeah, you haven't been there. Uh, you're there, right there. You right there. You're everywhere. You're in everywhere, Oklahoma. If you're in Oklahoma, you're in everywhere. That's a, that's the whole problem with this. They tell you what to do. They, you better do what they tell you to do. You gonna be in trouble. I want to tell you point blank. Oh Lord, help us. Yeah, I I like speaking truthful things, but yeah. You know, like, if you don't get out of your proper vehicle, properly put your face and hands and body up on the ground, hands behind your back a certain way or behind your head or whatever, you may get lead poisoning. I don't know. But, you know, just don't do anything really quick, really stupid. You might live through it. And then nine months of jail time, you might have a little bit of fun with that. Or it might be less, depending on your case. Yeah, that's how Oklahoma rolls. You're, you're guilty until proven innocent. It's not innocent until proven guilty. Yeah. That's what officer, officers always say, you're guilty until proven innocent. When did they start making new laws? That didn't make any sense, did it? It's supposed to be innocent until proven guilty in the court of law. That's what was taught to me by a lawyer. But, you know, officers are always right, you know. Yeah, they sometimes I think they do. But, you know, everybody knows everything. Yeah. Everybody knows everything about everything. But neither here nor less. You know, yeah. I, I got to say things that you know, might open the minds up, or might cause a discussion piece. You know? Yeah. Especially when the officers fly down your street like all oh, hell. By the time you get to your screen door, look out the window, they have already turned and went down another block. Yeah. And when you make that phone call to the police station saying this person flew through past, and the officer's going to ask you, did you get the uh, car number? How you can you get the car number when you didn't get out the screen door fast enough to see the damn police car? That's dumb, isn't it? But, you know, that's how they roll. They know how to stop on a dime doing about 70, 80 through a city block. Man, they're real smart. Yeah. Not really. But they they get by with running people over when they're doing about that speed. You know? uh, they hit grandma or they might hit a kid. They might hit someone on a bicycle. Yeah, that's real smart, isn't it? Uh, not really. But they're paid city officials to get, get by doing anything they damn well want. Yeah. Uh, that's how they roll around there. Yeah. Uh, actually, they do that in everywhere Oklahoma. That means everywhere in Oklahoma they do that. They try and catch up with everything. There was one time I seen about 15 police cars, two ambulances, and a couple fire trucks on one street. I, it, it, really, it really amazed me. Because two guys fell off their motorcycle. One got thrown off, shoved off, basically. 
didn't have very much of a t-shirt on. The other guy went down with the bike. A couple of individuals moved the bike, thought, the, thought they were doing right. And there was an officer who had to say, what, which position was the bike? Where was it going? All this and all that. And they said it moved. They said you ruined the crime scene. They were so damn pissed off at everything. They just stood in the street watching this guy die. And the ambulance, or the IMSA building was right down the street, about two blocks. It took them 15 minutes to get there. That was the stupidest thing I've ever seen in my lifetime. Yep, it sure did happen. I watched it and I timed it. 15 minutes. I'm not saying what town it was in, but, you know, that's bad. That is plum pathetic. I could have walked down the street faster in 15 minutes than what that damn piece of junk did in 15 minutes. And then they stood around talking to the officers, and, and after talking to the officer, they checked for a pulse. He was dead as a doornail. True facts, true things that happened in one time. Who was the person? I don't know. But how many officers, paid officers, stand around looking at a crime scene after the accident and someone knocking them off a motorcycle and causing them to have a wreck? Huh. Fifteen. That's pathetic. Well, I'll speak of one town in, per in particular, but fifteen officers. driving 15 different police cars, two IMSA vehicles, and a couple fire trucks blocked one street. Where I've seen of such things, yet the guy that went down with the bike still laid there nonetheless. People in that town never cared for nothing at all. All they cared for is themselves. The town of death is what it's called, where death resides there in that town. I cannot mention it, nor will I ever. I have but I'm not ever going to do it again because it's all it's there is death. Anybody who goes and resides in that town, you cannot leave, or when you leave, it sucks you right back to the town from which you left. Death is calling you. Death is calling you every day to come back, either by woman, girlfriend, or family that resides in that town. Where I do not like is a town where death is there. And death I don't need of. I had one foot in the grave, one foot out. Yet no more. God bless.